Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just gonna play my uh, intro clip here quickly. Anyway, um, today I'm gonna be going over through pointers in C sharp. Unfortunately, there isn't actually a lot of um, I don't know documentation on pointers with C sharp, so uh, I'm I'm not uh, sure if um, this would be a good recommendation but I'm tempted to recommend that people who are who know C sharp pretty well and who are moving on to C++ I'm tempted to recommend them that they do um, or that they try out pointers in C sharp before they go into C++ right but like I said there's not a lot of documentation on this so I'm a bit hesitant about it anyway I'm just going to call this um, C sharp pointer So you probably haven't actually seen a lot about uh, pointers in C-sharp, let alone even actually um, known that they exist in C-sharp, right? Or that you can even use them in C-sharp, right? Because um, if you go over um, a lot of the debates between um, C-sharp and C++, a lot of the go those guys have no, absolutely no effing idea what the hell they're talking about. Anyway, um, C++, you know, just for the debate, C++ is like 10 to 20, even like 30 times faster than C Sharp, right? Um, especially if you don't use the .NET framework. The .NET framework is actually pretty slow, but you know it's very developer friendly. Anyway, to set it up, you just go to um, I think properties here, uh, um, build events, I think, and no, build, and then you click allow unsafe code save it, go to here, and uh, every time you use a pointer in C sharp, you have to, uh, come on, come back here, go to unsafe. Now, once you're here, you gotta pass that little threshold between managed and unmanaged code. The code in the unsafe brackets are completely, well, almost completely unmanaged. So, yes, you can get memory leaks, and you have to um, release everything in whatever, right? Um, C Sharp does do a bit of um, garbage collection for you in, in the unmanaged code area, but you know, not much, right? So you got to be careful with that whole thing. You can easily get memory leaks and stuff, and you, again, you can still get memory leaks in C Sharp regardless. So just keep an eye on them. So anyway, I'm just going to start off with um, creating a variable, right? So um, say string data or, I don't know, hello equals hello world, right? So first of all, what is a pointer if you don't know what it is? A pointer is um, the, pretty much the address location. To get it, use the and sign, and to store a pointer, I'm just going to say, um, String pointer low address. So I'm gonna say equals hello or and right and hello right and sign means to get the address of it. <coughs> uh, blah 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 blah. Manage type. Okay, load of crap. Whatever. Oh, piece of son of a bitch. I suppose I could do, um, let's see if that works. Oh, oh, come on, son of a bitch. Two array. Come on, work. Oh, son of a bitch. Obviously, I've never really done this in C sharp yet. I was hoping it would work. Okay, there we go. So it's a bit different than um, C plus plus and oh, come on! Can't get size manage class. Piece of fucking shit. Oh my god. Right, come 
come on. Come on. Okay, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. So I'm just going to skip that whole storing part. I, as you can see, I don't have a lot of experience with pointers and uh, C sharp, so you know, to me that should have worked, but I don't know why, right? So screw them. <laughs> anyway, um, set string equals hello world, right? So um, value of hello is Hello, right? And then let's say the address of hello. Hello is and hello, right? Then your console dot. Okay, I like WTF. Give me a sec here. It's been a while. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna do this with um, a byte. Um, my byte. Right, because it's a lot easier to do this with uh, bytes and whatever. Right. Um, let's say 200. As you can see, you know, you gotta fiddle around a lot with it in C++, or, I mean C sharp, right? It's pretty, uh, you know, ugh, right? Pretty sensitive, right? And, uh, so there you go, you get your address there, and whatever. You can change it to hexadecimal or whatever you want, right? Um... So, you know, that's pretty much it for that little whole output thing. I'm just going to show you guys a bit more. So, um, bytes. Let's make an array. My byte. Just bytes. Array. Just new bytes. And uh, the whole purpose of doing this using pointers is because uh, doing this in managed code is, you know, takes a lot of work. God damn it. Uh. And then uh, just do 105 for the fifth one, right? So, um, come on. Dun, dun, son of a bitch. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it doesn't like me today. Or rather, I don't like it today. Anyway, um, Say bytes pointer um, pointer let's call it pointer, just call it oh, come back just a piece of crap pointer equals um, bytes array address of it. It really, really doesn't work. Oh my god. Okay, as you can see, okay. Well, I take back that whole, um, you know, learn this before you go into pointers in C++. Because pointers in C sharp is a real pain in the ass, right? I don't even get how it all worked in here, right? Because, um... Well, I didn't actually try anything, but um, as you can see here, right, I get the pointer of, um, of the bitmap data, and I put it in the structure for the pixel data. So 
I don't have to multi uh, multiply it by the size every time. So when I want to um, go over the, to the next um, entry in the array or whatever, I just multiply, right? That's pretty much how pointers work. Um, I guess I'm going to have to say that you should learn uh, C++ with the pointers before you attempt uh, pointers in C-sharp because it's pretty frustrating in C-sharp because it's very limited and, and it's very limiting and um, as you can see it's pretty frustrating, right? Because you you know, you just got to figure everything out, right? Things in um, that you normally do in... <coughs> in C++ or whatever don't work in uh, C sharp right I'll just uh, show you an example in uh, C++ of um, you know a basic pointer thing or whatever right Come here. There we go. So, um, come on. Is this shit load? Alright. Still lagging, but whatever. So you say, um, character, or pointer, um, string, or whatever, something equals. Now, uh, it's a bit different because yeah, whatever, anyway, um, just, uh, something in, um, oh, come on. But uh, you normally don't use that whole um, send to whatever you know, whatever. Just ignore my laziness. As you can guess, I haven't been programming much since um, I, my parents have uh, disconnected the internet from me. Pretty hard to do so. Oh, come on. <sighs> Fine. Make me do it the not so lazy way. Um, is it? Damn it. It's like I gotta pause my mind blank. Alright, anyway, um, let's go. So the top one here is the value, and the bottom one here is the location in hexadecimal. Pretty simple. Um, I believe, I don't remember exactly how the location works, but, um, I'm, just one second. Nope, looks like it's not, whatever, anyway, I thought it could have been, sh been the location within the program, but I guess not. Anyway, you know, that's pretty much how it is, working and whatnot. Right, um, I'm just gonna close that. So, uh, you might be confused about how a uh, pointer can, um, you know, give an address, right? You're, this is a pointer array, right? Um, this here is pointing to um, the, the array, the pointer array, and this is the address of the pointer array, or something like that. I don't know. Ugh, gone brain dead today. 
Anyway, um, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog. Hopefully you're not too turned off by my brain deadness today. It's, you know, pretty early. See you guys later.